it's not wrong of me to hate people. Undercover Boss is a reality show which has been very successful and continues to be to this day. As a result of there being so many episodes of Undercover Boss, there have been a couple of on-the-spot firings, and today I'm going to be covering one of them. The episode in question covers Boston Market, which is pretty much just an American roasted dinner, takeaway, fast food restaurant situation. So in this episode, they send the chief branding officer into the actual boss role. It worked out pretty well as she had just recently started the company and also her disguise in general is actually pretty convincing, which to be honest, most of the time on Undercover Boss, the disguises aren't the best. So they filmed Undercover Boss, but they filmed it under the guise that it was kind of for a competition show. So the employees didn't suspect anything, which I don't know how accurate that is. So we're gonna be working together today, yeah? Yes. On your competition. Are you excited? Yeah, yeah. a little nervous. It's okay, excited. don't worry about it. You have a great teacher. Oh, good. So as you can see, Ronnie is very outspoken and very humble, as all great managers and supervisors are. Welcome to Boston Market. This is how everything unfolds. Not the most relevant to the show, but if every single time someone walks in, all the employees have to stop what they're doing and yell, Welcome, Welcome to Boston, Boston Market. Market. I can understand why they would be so angry because I would absolutely be pissed as well. Standard procedure is to greet the customer as they walk in, say, hello, welcome to Boston Market, you know, blah, 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 whatever. Because we have to make customers, you know, on a pedestal. This so far sounds like just your standard run-of-the-mill job. I mean, it does get busy. Mm -hmm. But it's generally just people taking too long to eat. Okay. But the only question I really have for Ronnie is why would you act like this in front of TV cameras in general? Especially that you know that the TV show is being shown on American nationwide television. Because I was also thinking maybe he's acting like this in hopes that he'll get discovered on like social media or he can like make a career out of social media. But this was filmed in 2013, so I don't really think people were doing that yet. But no, you'll love me, it's okay. <laughs> I'm like the Kim Kardashian of Boston Market. That comment confuses me. The Kim Kardashian of Boston Market? Sir, you're a supervisor. You're not even the manager. You are not even the big boss. You're the assistant when the boss is on his day off. That is not very Kim Kardashian whatsoever. I started off as a dishwasher, but I broke out in leprosy back there. Why would you say that while you're on TV? She hated it as well so much. She was like, mm-hmm, mm, wow, that's really hilarious. That's so funny, haha. -ha. Should be asking customers like, hey, would you like to sample our loaded mashed potatoes? It shouldn't be a question. You should be forcing it down their throat because that is what corporate has told us to do. The dramatic music. Do you feel like he's kind of bringing up a valid point there? Like maybe some sneaky feedback to head office for that one? Otherwise we get in trouble because Boston Market, again, ridiculous standards. Remember that. Ronnie kept referencing that this is the way we do it because corporate tells us to. Well, we don't make rules just to make rules. So that concerns me a little. I mean, come on. Like, this guy's probably paid $7 an hour. You really expect him to be top tier professional? This guy definitely gives the vibe of minimum wage, minimum effort. Except it's kind of minimum wage below minimum effort. So I kind of get his anger. Like, I kind of do. This is a sandwich station. I hate making sandwiches. Customers always have something picky about a sandwich to do. So. I know this is repetitive, but why would you do that on the TV for so many people to see? I just genuinely don't understand what you are planning on achieving by acting this way. Overall, this guy is following the rules. Is he the most enthusiastic about it? No. Does he have an attitude problem? Yes. My least favorite part is the customer always has to be right. I absolutely hate that. Tell me that is not a mood. Anyone working in a customer service facing industry, tell me that's wrong. The customer is not always right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, they are not. No, you're wrong. I'm right. I work there. I'm right. We have some mundane activities that we need to get done and I hate doing them, so I'm basically gonna make you do them. Oh, great. This guy really just needs a slap across the face. Like, you silly sausage. You are being filmed for a TV show. Why would you act like this? It's not that you can even, like, forget that the camera's there. This is not a hidden camera situation. You chose to act like this. Dude. I am a little bit of a diva. Everyone always has something to say about me. Someone is always hating on me, even though I'm the best, and there's not really that much to hate on me about. Yeah, look, I feel like with an attitude like this, this guy's definitely been bullied, and he's just basically turned around and been like, well, fuck you all, I hate everyone. Which I guess he can do, but also don't work in customer service. These are our new napkin dispensers. Customers will literally sit here and take about 500 napkins, and then just throw them all over the floor. They didn't actually need them. 
was the dramatic sound effect really necessary? Sarah, take that back to head office and get it sorted. I feel like that was genuinely good feedback as well. Obviously I get he does have an attitude problem, but I feel like the things he's saying, some of them are pretty genuine and can be used as like feedback for the company. Customers do not care what it's like. Like you could be 10 hundred customers over there and they'll just come up to me and be like, um, the raspberry lemonade's out. Image. <laughs> Sounds like he's spitting facts, but again, mate, not the time or the place. Children and old people are literally the worst I've ever seen in my entire life because none of them know what they want and they're like literally can't talk. So you just kind of have to deal with it. And he keeps getting worse. He's really like, this guy is such a mood. I can't specify that enough, but also why would you act like that? I really don't like customers. Customers are such like little bitches and like all the time is all about like, pleasing the customer like yeah well that's the business that we're in right yeah it's not fair. What do you mean? You're not being forced to work there. Like, this is consensual, dude. You're getting paid for this. Like, you can quit at any moment. Also, as well, I was thinking maybe this guy's just having an off day. Maybe he's not normally like this. But also, wrong day to act like this. Such, like, such the wrong day. Like, worst possible day to act like this. I have a question. Yes. How much are you talking smack? And how much of this stuff about any customers is okay. really true? I'm going to say, like, 75% of it is true. They'll throw a hissy fit. And I'm just like, bitch, no. You can, you don't have the right to do that. You can't do that. Maybe this guy had someone go off at him before they started filming and maybe that's why he's like this. Like maybe he was triggered. I literally hate customers more than anything in the entire world. I hate them so much. They're terrible. It's all about them all the time. And they demand everything. Because it seems like his biggest passion in life or in this show in general is his hate for people, which like, dude, you're very much not in the right industry. So safe to say, uh, Sarah is outraged. So she takes Ronnie outside for a little chat. Everything all right? Um, not really. Why? Um, why proceeds to say bitch, bitches, bitch. for every second word for the entirety of the episode. I'm not actually Rachel. Who are you? My name is Sarah Bidorf and I'm the chief brand officer of Boston Market. No. The enthusiasm level was a two. And you're on Undercover Boss. <gasps> oh my God. This guy was more enthusiastic in his hate for customers than he was enthusiastic in finding out that he was featured on Undercover Boss. Like, sorry, where do your priorities lie, sir? Like where, hello? Oh, there is no restaurant competition show? There is no restaurant competition show. Oh my God, really? Yes. Copy. Again, enthusiasm is a two. I did get you. Ooh. I got you saying a bunch of things about our customers. I did. That are really not very nice. Oh. Uh, angry and I'm heartbroken uh, and I'm disappointed. So I don't know if this is the business for you. Oh my God. Literally when I worked customer service, me complaining about my job, how much I hated it, but also me absolutely bawling, inconsolably crying if I were to get fired, which I never was. I do, I do enjoy my job. It just Boston market me and like real Ronnie who is is left usually outside of Boston Market are two very different people. I don't really get that justification. So, so go home and um, Neil will follow up with you. So that's it, that's, that's all. And that was the end of his employment. I would tell him my attitude would change, but like, I don't know, I didn't think it was that terrible. It's not wrong of me to hate people. No, no, no it's not. Just go find something that's not people facing. And that's the instance of when someone got fired on Undercover Boss. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please comment below if you want me to make more parts to like Undercover Boss because there are so many episodes of Undercover Boss that I can talk about if you would like me to. If you're not subscribed yet, could you please as it really does help my channel. So yeah.